हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम संपदा कुलकर्णी वेलकम्स यू इन माय चैनल टेक टॉक्स इन दिस वीडियो सीरीज आई एम कवरिंग द कंसेप्ट ऑफ ट्री डेटा स्ट्रक्चर एंड हियर आई एम गिविंग यू एन इंट्रोडक्शन टू पोस्ट ऑर्डर बायनरी ट्री ट्रैवर्सल हियर बिफोर गोइंग टू द बायनरी ट्री ट्रैवर्सल एंड स्पेसिफिकली पोस्ट ऑर्डर बायनरी ट्री ट्रैवर्सल यू मस्ट हैव to know the concept of tree data structure for your reference i am providing a shortcut link for a tree data structure and all the previous binary tree traversal techniques in this right up corner you just click on this i and you will be having the shortcut link for everything related to binary tree Before moving to the content, I would like to request you to subscribe my channel Tech Talks and keep the bell ringing. Now let's start with the tree traversal. There are basically two ways, two techniques with which we can traverse a binary tree. They are depth first traversal technique and a breadth first traversal technique. Here. in depth first traversal technique we supposed to traverse a tree in these three different orders or we can traverse a tree in these three different order the three different orders are based on the position of a root node you will be having you will get all the details of these tree traversal techniques in my previous video and the breadth first traversal technique is nothing but the level order traversal where we can traverse a tree according to level after this here i am focusing on a post order traversal so let's start a binary tree traversal basically or specifically post order traversal where we are following a sequence left subtree right subtree and then a root node so here the same thing i am going to remind you that this is first of all you supposed to traverse a left subtree then a right sub subtree and lastly a root node here the same thing i am explaining you what the steps we supposed to follow while traversing a tree a binary tree in post order we have to start with a root node and moving to the left subtree after this we will move to the right subtree when we are at the right subtree or a right child let's make it as a root node and let's check again whether it is having its left child or not let's assume it is having a left child after this again let's check if it is having a right child and then after process after moving or after processing to the right child we supposed to move to the root node and after that we have to process it the same steps i am trying to explain in some detail way that starting from a root node step down to the left child if it is present so let's step down to the left child when we are at the left child make it as a root node and let's again check if it is having any left child or not if it is present let's move back to the left child again that is we have to step down to the left child again and let's make it as a root node let's again check for a left child if it is present if it is not present let's check for a right child because after left child if it is not present or after processing of left child we supposed to move to the right child again so let's check for a right child if it is present let's assume it is present let's move to the right child make it as a root node and for that right child as a root node let's we have to check a left child if it is present if it is present step down to the left child move to the left child and after this again what you have to do you have to again check for a left child by making this left child as a root node if it is present left step down to the left child if it is not present step down to the right child after making again a right child as a root node you have to perform all these things repeatedly and at the end you have to process or you have to return back to the root node if we have done with the right child as well after returning back to the root node here you can see that the last step is to process a root node because we are processing the root node at the last or post 
or after left and right child so that's why it is called as post order traversal uh, let's see with the simple example how we suppose to traverse a tree in a post order traversal so here a is a root node b is its left child and c is its right child so if i want to traverse this tree in post order traversal i suppose to move to the left first of all so a is a root node let's start from a root node let's check whether it is having a left child yes it is having a left child and process it after this we have to go to the right child so again a is right child we have to check yes it is present so that's why process it and at the end we have to process a root node that is a and here in this way we have traversed a tree in a post order traversal for the given tree the post order traversal is left nothing but b a uh, right nothing but c and at the end a root node is nothing but a so my post order traversal is b c a now let's move forward for the example for the post order traversal how to follow the steps to traverse the given tree in a post order now here in the bottom i am i'm uh, giving you the post order traversal for the given binary tree let's start from a root node let's uh, start from a root node as my 10 uh, the 10 node 10 from my tree is a root node so let's start from a, a 10 let's make it as a root node and i am covering this whole tree or here i want to represent that 10 is a root node the topmost element is nothing but the root node first step is to check for a left child let's check whether 10 is having its left child here you can see that yes 10 is having a left child so that's why step down to the left child make it as a root node now i am going to make this 20 as a root node so here you can see that let's make 20 as a root node over here this triangle highlighted triangle will show you which is the current root node now after making it as a root node let's check again the first step is let's check again a left child you can see over here 20 is not having a left child so what will be the next step our next step is to check for a right child so now let's check whether 20 is having right child or not here you can see that 20 is having right child so step down to the right child so here you can observe the thing like we have stepped down to the right child and we are making 30 as a root node after making 30 as a root node again start from the left child let's check for a left child yes 30 is having a left child so that's why we supposed to step down to its left child that is 50 and make it as a root node after making it as a root node again let's check for a left child here you can see that 50 is a leaf node so it is not having its left child as well as a right child so checking for a left child no left child is present now next step is to check a right child no right child is also present so that's why the next step is the processing of a root node here we i have mentioned the sequence after processing or after uh, moving to the left child move to the right child after completion of right child let's process a root node so now here you can see that i am processing or i am displaying a root node this that is nothing but 50 in this case where 50 is a root node from here we suppose to return back to 30 after that we have to check for a right child because for a node 30 as a root node 30 we have done with its left subtree now it's turn to move to the right child if it is present <coughs> so that's why let's check for a right child yes it is present here you can see that 30 is having its right child so step down to the right child and make it as a root node here you can see that i have uh, made this 60 as a root node now again the first step is to check for its left child here you can see that again 60 is a leaf node no left child is present no right child is present so my first condition that is checking of a left, left child it will it is going to be false as it is not having left child let's check for a right child no it is also uh, not there so that's why we are not moving to the left or a right child respectively as both are absent in this case 
so the last step is to process a root node so processing of a root node is nothing but i am trying to display 60 in the post order traversal here you can see that now what we have to do here as the 30 is a root node you can see over here we have done with its left sub tree or a left child we have done with its right child as well its turn now to process a root node so what will be the step again we should have to return back to 30 and we have to process a root node 30 and here making this 30 as a root node let's process 30 as a root node over here after this what will be the next step the next step is we are going to return back to 20 as for 20 here you can see that we have done with its left subtree as it is null we have done with its right subtree as well with all the three nodes and now it's turn to process 20 as a root node so return back to 20 make it as a root node and then process it in a post order traversal so that's why i have processed it after processing of 20 we should have to return back to 10 let's make this 10 as a root node once again after this here you can see that we have done with its left subtree now it's turn to move to the right subtree by making 10 as a root node so let's check for its right child yes it is present here you can see that and we have to step down to the right child of 10 let's make 40 as a root node i am making 40 as a root node after making 40 as a root node we have to check for its left child it is not present let's check for a right child again it is not present so that's why we have to process a root node so that's why a processing of a root node 40 it means we are displaying it into the post order traversal we have to return back to 10 as now again here you can see that for a root node 10 we have done with its left subtree we have done with its right subtree as well and now it's turn to process a root node so let's process 10 as a root node here you can see that i have processed it i have displayed it into the post order traversal and in this way we have done with the post order traversal for the given binary tree so in this way we can apply the logic we can apply the steps for the post order traversal of the given binary tree so thank you all dear friends i hope you must have understood what the steps we supposed to follow while traversing a tree in post order traversal if you like the video and the content please do not forget to give the comment if you are having any query please you can comment it into the comment box i will try to solve it here i am providing you a shortcut link for the subscription of my channel if you have not subscribed yet please do subscribe my channel and stay tuned with my channel tech talks for your reference i am providing a shortcut link for the next video of this video series along with a playlist for the tree data structure stay tuned with tech talks Happy learning, happy data structuring. Thank you.